All right, we're back on Central Valley Talk, and I have some ice cream here that I'm going to taste right now. This is whiskey caramel swirl. Mmm. Oh, man. All right, hold on. i got to get another bite. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. Good. Ampersand ice cream. They're going to be opening soon, hopefully by this spring here in Fresno. Jeff and Amelia are working on it, and... Uh, I have to ask you first, the name of the company, Ampersand Ice Cream. <laughs> is there a story behind that name? There is a little bit of a story. Yeah. Let's hear it. Um, so the story is, and our motto is, uh, we're great ice cream and community meet. And so we're the ampersand that makes that connection between great ice cream and community. And we really want the ice cream shop to be something that's a community space for people to come enjoy and be a part of Fresno in um, and be able to share in their company and companies of other while they enjoy great ice cream. So yeah. Ampersand is the, is it the, the A symbol? It's the A. Oh. It's the and, it's the and symbol. So if I you did um, peanut butter and jelly, it's that symbol in between. Okay. So um, so yeah, we have just found when we were thinking of names for our ice cream shop, we love things that come in pairs, like peanut butter and jelly, or cookies and cream, or cream and sugar. Whiskey and, and caramel. Whiskey and <laughs> caramel. And so we realized that everything's kind of better with something else, and so that's why we kind of landed on ampersand, and um, yeah. Yeah. So that's the How did you go about testing all these different recipes and formulas? Lots of lucky friends and families. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We, and husband. And husband. And husband. Yeah. Yo, wait, you're not, you'd be 300 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I've been working it off yeah. trying to. <laughs> Or are you going to so, tell me this is locale, too? It's not locale. No, That's, not at all. We are, honest. No, we aren't trying to be anything other than excellent. So it's all the good stuff. It's cream, milk, eggs, sugar. And that's it in our base. And then so no preservatives. No preservatives, no uh, artificial stabilizers. And everything that's going into all the different flavors are all going to be made in-house with local ingredients. Um, and, yeah, just a very high-quality product. So it's, it's definitely not... Um, for the, the dieters necessarily, <laughs> but um, it's a really rich product that you don't need a, a lot of to feel satisfied, and so, um, because yeah. it's the best. Well, how, how long will it stay fresh since there are no preservatives? Uh, well, because it's a frozen product, it'll be able to, you can freeze ice cream for about two weeks. If you, if you took a pint home, that could last in your freezer for about two weeks until, if you could still eat it, but that's the ultimate freshness time. Okay. So, All yeah. right. so right now you're looking for the perfect place to open yeah. your little store. Yeah. You're hoping somewhere in the Tower District, maybe? Yes, yep. absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Looking yeah. at different places? And yeah, we have a couple of locations that we have. Uh, we've met with landlords on, and um, our heart is here in Tower, and so we'd really like to keep it in this community and um, be a part of this neighborhood. So yeah. mm -hmm. I lived here in the Tower for 18 years, so I know, oh. I know what that connection is. Yeah. 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 Um, and you're asking folks who might be interested in supporting you to yeah. to chip in through what Kickstarter? And yeah, absolutely. We're doing a Kickstarter campaign. So for those of you that don't know what Kickstarter is, it's a crowdfunding platform where uh, anybody can be a backer and support our funding project. So you can donate five dollars. You can be a huge backer and do ten thousand dollars. Whatever you want to contribute. Um, you can pledge to us, and then if we reach our goal, which is twenty thousand dollars, which is a pretty big goal, but we're getting we're getting there day by day. Mm -hmm. uh, then all of our backers get rewards in return for their pledged amount. So we have free ice cream, free <laughs> ice cream. Um, part also, of our, being a part of our pint of the month club, which is one thing that we're going to offer when we open up. Which are we're going like, to pie too? Pint, pint, pint. Oh, pint. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. pint of ice cream of the month. Pint club. of ice cream. Okay. Uh, including even parties and stuff like that, or some of the rewards that are through our Kickstarter, depending on the amount that you pledge towards um, our our yeah. project. So, um, so yeah, so it's going good so far. It's uh, we're about two weeks in. We end um, the second week of February. Uh, will be the end of our our pledge time. Um, and at that point, if we reach the twenty thousand dollars, then we'll be able to actually keep that. If we don't make it, then Kickstarter. The way it works is you don't you don't make the money on the backside if you don't make your goal. Oh, the money just goes back to the people yep. that yeah. contributed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I hope you make it. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you open without that, or do you need that to open? Um, no, we can't open without that. Uh, this is uh, part of it is and. Uh, our thought in that is that we do want it to be a community space, so we want the community of Fresno to be a part in making this happen. Um, if we don't reach our goal, we're still going to go forward and open our location, but it makes people have some buy-in to the, the whole project, and we want people to be there from the beginning and make it a, a centerpiece in Fresno um, for ice cream at least. So, mm. 
Is, is there a shortage of ice cream places in Fresno? There is a shortage of ice cream. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, especially of our particular product, which would be a super premium ice cream. Um, our big competitors are definitely Baskin Robbins, Cold Stone. Um, but other than that, there's nothing really special or unique to Fresno. So, um, so you can always go to your grocery store. You can always go to Rite Aid and get thrifty ice cream. But there's really not a special place for Fresno to call its own. Yeah. So that's what we hope to be. A little bit more than just ice cream, although our product is going to be amazing and you're going to want it all the time. It's going to be a place that you'll want to bring your friends, you'll want to go after t-ball games, you're going to you know, want to go on first dates and anniversaries and all of that. And so we really see it not just being a place to sell delicious ice cream, but a place that everybody's going to want to go spend time and bring their family and bring their friends and their grandkids and their, um, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> have you thought about pricing yet? Like how much is a scoop going to cost? Yeah. Um, yeah, we have in our, uh, our four ounce, uh, scoop serving will be about three seventy five, um, which kind of falls in line with some of the other competitors that we have. It's a little bit on the higher end, but you're also getting that local, um, higher quality ingredients that's going to be in there. And you'll be able to look at a recipe list and go, Oh, it's short. There's not much to that because it's it's going to be just the pure ingredients in that. And so, uh, a four ounce scoop would be three seventy five, and then kind of going up from there, I think it's four fifty for well, two scoop. five ounce scoop. But five yeah. ounce scoop. So, and yeah. then are, are you going to have all the toppings you can add on nuts and? We're going to have some. And... It's going to be a little I, like we. Some people have asked us if Fresno's ready for ampersand. And it's going to be a little bit different. We aren't going to have as many bells and whistles as a lot of places have. We aren't going to be like Cold Stone where you can pick from 50 different things. We're going to have our ice cream and we're going to have a few toppings. We're going to have some milkshake milkshake options. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. We're going to have sandwiches to order. So you can pick out your cookie and pick out your ice cream and we'll wrap that up for you. But otherwise, it's going to be pretty simple. So we'll have, we'll have some a few, but it's not going to be quite as so no coffee fast. no oh, no sandwiches oh. we will have coffee um and we're working with a coffee provider we're hoping to go with a local coffee company um but we uh it we want to keep it just pure and we want to be able to offer the best of what we do and we feel that when you start kind of adding on sandwiches and a lot of different other things then you're kind of spreading yourself thin across that and so it's right. kind of the in and out type of mentality is we want to offer the best of what we offer and that's going to be ice cream and it's going to be there for you, and we feel that our flavors are going to be enough in themselves that you don't need to add the gummy bears and the sour worms and everything else on top of it to but make it. But some people like that stuff. Oh yeah. 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 So, and we and we will have flavors that will meet those needs, um, but they are going to be a, in, in total recipe rather than something that you can change and modify yourself. So. Okay. Well, you'll have to come back once you pick a location, Thank and you. once you get close to ready to opening, we'd love yeah. to have you back. Great. And if you make some pistachio ice cream. Bring okay. that in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hinted. Okay. Absolutely. Kickstarter, where can folks find you? Uh, you can find us uh, if you go to our website, www.ampersandicecream.com. Uh, our Kickstarter link is Wait right a minute. There. Is, is ampersand spelled out or, yes, or it is. is it the symbol? It's spelled out, it ampersandicecream.com, um, and you can find it there. Or if you search ampersand ice cream on Facebook, you can also find us. Um, on Facebook, and our link is on our home. So you don't have to go to Kickstarter. You can find it through your website yep. or through your Facebook yep. page. Yep. yep. So. All right. Well, yep. best of luck to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Jeff and Amelia, Ampersand Ice Cream opening hopefully sometime this spring, maybe somewhere in the Tower District, and maybe that's the start of a whole chain of Ampersand Ice Cream shops, right? We love <laughs> that. We can say we knew them when. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with more on Central Valley Talk.